Hello Capricorn, welcome to your mid-October reading. I hope you all are doing well. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. If this one heads home, the link to the extended reading will be below. We dive a little bit deeper, we'll get you an oracle card of advice, and we'll pull specific love cards at the end of that reading. All right, if this one doesn't hit home, check out your moon or your rising sign. All right, Capricorn, see what the rest of October looks like for y'all. This is just general, so whatever comes out is your message. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're returning, thank you for all of your support. All right, let's check it. Coming into the reading, what do we got? Ooh, we've got the Seven of Coins. There's your Earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's influencing that Seven of Coins? The Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Leo, Sag, Aries. What's on your mind, Capricorn? The Star. Major for Aquarius. So the way I do my readings is I like to lay out all the cards, get a feel for what the story is, clarify, and we go through it. All right. What happened in the recent past? The Ten of Coins. So again, there's your Earth energy. What's the situation? What's in the foundation here? You've got the world. Success, reaching goals, milestones. Can be endings and new beginnings, but it's also, again, reaching some sort of goal of yours, obtaining some sort of success. How do you see yourself right now? You are the four of coins. Might be saving your money, holding on to that coin. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The three of swords. Libra energy. What's going on in your feels, your emotions? The nine of cups. And what's your outcome? What can you expect for the rest of October? The knight of coins. Would we expect anything different for Capricorn? So there's that steady, slow pace. Uh, Virgo energy, but again... You know, you're an earth sign, so it could certainly be your energy. It's just slow and steady, right? Something to do possibly with your finances as well. Money, obtaining money. If this is love for y'all, you're just taking it slowly, probably because of an ending. Or, you know, again, that world is like, listen, I'm not messing around. I'm looking for my soulmate. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just play. The world is the end of the cycle, right? Last major arcana. So it can be actually very strong soulmate energy where you found your person. You don't need to look any further. A lot of you are um, really coming into the reading. A lot of you are really just taking stock of your situation, whether that's with friends, love, money. You know, it's time to pick the pentacles and you've put hard work and now you're just kind of waiting with the Knight of Wands here, you could be waiting on someone specifically to take action. Those Knights are moving, right? They're coming, they're going. The Knight of Wands can be a little fickle, not always the most stable energy. So again, you could be connecting with someone who, you know, is in and out. But you're hopeful. you got the star there on your mind, Capricorn. So you're wishing upon a star. You're wishing for something. And for some of you, it is more success with your money. You might be purchasing something large, you know, a home, um, property. You know, you're just, it's very serious energy. The past with that ten of coins. All right, let's check it. So coming in, we've got the seven of coins. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah, and the eight of coins. A lot of you guys have been working really hard and you will continue to achieve. It's that day in, day out grind. And now you're waiting for the payoff with work, with your money. What's this knight of wands? Why is this influencing the reading for Capricorn and the queen of wands? Uh, for love, there could be a little bit of an age difference. It doesn't have to be huge, but there's a lot of passion here. Some of you are kind of putting love on hold, but there's going to be an attraction to someone. And it could be, um, you know, just kind of passion. It's a little boom, boom. I, you know, I don't know how else to say it. It doesn't look overly sensitive or overly sensitive, overly serious. But there is a strong attraction and a lot of passion. What's this Ten of Coins in the past for y'all? And the Ace of Wands. A lot of y'all uh, started a new project of some sort. you got a payout. And, you know, it could be a project, career with the Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands here with that Ten of Coins? What is that? And the Two of Cups, a partnership. So, again, everybody's like, oh, I don't have anybody in love. I don't want a love reading. All right, if we're not talking about love, the Two of Cups can be a partnership. You're partnering with somebody. There's a lot of success here. You could have had, again, a bonus, a payout, something very serious. You probably were working on this for quite a while. And that's also why coming into the reading, we've got that reflection. Like, you're looking at this. You're taking stock. Yes, I put in hard work. I'm boss bitch or boss bastard with that queen of wands. 
and the Knight of Wands, pursuing something very passionately. Now, outside of that, if we are talking about love, there was a, a very strong connection in the past. The Two of Cups can just be like, yeah, there's emotion here and there's also some passion. On top of that Ten of Pentacles, some of you had an attraction to someone um, outside of a relationship. So either they were married or in a long-term relationship or you were. Maybe even happened at work. What's on your mind, the star? with Aquarius energy and the Page of Pentacles. Some of you are learning something. You've got uh, Capricorn energy there. Page of Coins is a student of the deck. He's he's learning, he's researching something. And it's because that Pentacle has a lot of success tied to it. So you take that Pentacle and it could grow into the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you are going to receive a lot of recognition. You're kind of like a superstar. That's what you're trying to you know gain at work. Could be through a specific project. And again, there's an attraction here, but somebody could be unavailable. You're hopeful, but it's kind of a little bit slow now. Something changed, perhaps. That page of coins is very slow energy. It can even be you know, a little bit of an olive branch, a little bit of a breadcrumb, like a friend even. But you're hopeful that something could turn in, you know, to something more. It could be somebody at work has a crush on you too and you're unavailable or vice versa. It's all happening because of the world. Temperance. Another major arcana, so you've got Sagittarius energy there. You've been very patient, patiently working towards yourself, right, at work and gaining that success, but also what you'll accept in love, what you won't accept in love. You've done a lot of healing, perhaps after an ending. Some of you had a very, very strong connection here, and it ended up to where it could only be a friendship. And, you know, you're still hopeful, though. Your, your energy is good, temperance with the Wheel of Fortune. Look at all those majors. So the three major arcana in the foundation of the reading. So a big message, big shifts in energy, something big is happening. The wheel is bringing change your way. It may have been unforeseen, may not always be what you want, Capricorn, but the wheel is here. Um, again, some sor sort of karmic lesson. I feel, again, for some of you, you're being tempted. I, I, don't say the devil energy yet, but there's temptation and somebody can't quite cross that, that line. And so you're just kind of chill with temperance too. How do you see yourself right now? The four of pentacles, why? And the ace of pentacles in reverse, holding back probably from, um, if it's love from a situation where you know, there's no future or at least there's a delay to that. They're holding back. You're holding back closed off, a little bit stubborn, because of the Ace of Pentacles, again, in reverse, that is a lack of being able to commit, to plant that seed so that it can grow. And again, with that Ten of Pentacles, I mean, some of you had that long-term, maybe even marriage with this person, but I feel like that Ten of Pentacles for most of you is outside of this connection, and therefore you're having to hold back. You might even be kind of, you're holding back, but at the same time holding on to hope and just letting it kind of play out with that page of pentacles others of you um, are really holding on to money and finances you might be trying to purchase something large and with the ace of pentacles in reverse it's just not happening yet so you're budgeting you're counting your coins what's coming in from your environment capricorn you don't see yet the three of swords and there's that world again so a separation i do feel for a lot of you there is separation and love it could even be a friendship if it's not love, but something went down here and I think your focus was on work and maybe not having a lot of time if it's a friendship or a family member. But as far as love, I do feel somebody else is probably involved and, you know, it just can't happen yet. With that three of swords coming in, there's that separation and the world is some sort of ending. But again, you're really trying to manifest your forever person or some of you are already with your forever person and that's why you can't be with this person. What's the, or they are. What's this Three of Swords with the world and the Ace of Cups? Healing from that energy. The Ace of Cups, what's this about? And the Two of Wands. Some of you, some of you are in love with somebody that, you know, that's at a distance, and that's what that Three of Swords energy is, that third energy, that third party that we always talk about, right? And that is the distance because they're on the other side of the world or they're across the country or they're too far from you, something like that. 
for those of you that nobody's involved with somebody else and that third energy is distance or work, you'd have to travel towards them. I, I just feel like that Ace of Pentacles in reverse is a delay. I don't think it's forever. For others of you, again, you know, trying to make plans and really, really trying to focus on new love because somebody's just unobtainable or you are. And, you know, those two of wands, it's like, I'm just going to stand here, right? There's choices and decisions that need to be made between me and someone else or them and someone else. And it just can't happen yet. What's going on in your fields, the nine of cups with the three of pentacles, working together with others collaborating, getting that pat on the back for a job well done, feeling satisfied. Some of you worked on, again, worked on a big project that is being, you know, completed or something at work. You had to do something at work and you're putting a lot of time and effort and in your emotions, you're like, yeah, Capricorn, job well done. And others are seeing you in that light as well. And it feels good. Maybe even a little smug with the nine of cups. What's this nine of cups with the three of pentacles? and the nine of pentacles others of you again for love romance that nine of cups is like oh it would feel so good to be with this person right trying to manifest it could be a wish of yours feels really good a little bit smug a little self-indulgent and with the three of pentacles again third energy whether that's another person distance work something's in the way and therefore in your emotions you're like let me just concentrate on myself i'm a badass bitch with the nine of coins nine of pentacles so virgo energy there but she's living the life you know he or she it's very independent single energy but you're okay with that for now because things are blossoming around you this is taking good care of yourself nurturing yourself some of you are really really focusing on also maybe uh, working from home as well that will go well that's going to be a success if it isn't already what's the outcome you've got the knight of coins What's this about? Knight of Coins, Virgo energy. What's this Knight of Coins about for Capricorn and the Sun? Change and happiness because you stuck in there. That Knight of Coins, again, is slow progress building for the future. He always reaches his goal. It just takes a while because the Knight of Coins, before he offers that coin, is going to make sure that it's the right thing, right? Responsible, cautious, careful. And with the sun, there it is. There's the happiness and the change. You're getting an exchange of that pentacle for some hard work or something you've completed here. Others of you <clears throat> that are trying to save to purchase something you know, large and you feel like the money's just going out, your hard work will pay off. What's the sun? Leo energy and the knight of swords in reverse. Also, too, being able to pull back a little bit with work. I think the rest of October, you're completing something. I also feel like that's the world in the foundation here so with that knight of swords it's not so rushed it's not so like go 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 because in the upright that knight of swords gemini energy is super fast and when it's in reverse it's like all right let's pull back on those reins let's not be impulsive let's slow down and i and i feel like the same thing for love for capricorn for you guys capricorn i feel as though <clears throat> with the sun continued healing really really taking stock of a love situation that you just feel right now is you know sort of out of your control you'll see that clearly you're not sulking about this you're not laying in bed you're moving forward not that there's anything wrong with laying in bed i mean hell i've done it everybody has to mend a broken heart at some point so not being so impulsive and really thinking about your future and your stability What's this page of pentacles on your mind with that star and the five of pentacles? Maybe also feeling all this hard work, everything that you've put into your career, your business, saving your money. You just still kind of feel on your mind like there's not quite enough, but there will be a payout. The happiness and the change is coming with that sun and it's because you'll be able to kind of slow down and pull back. But I do feel like a lot of you are like, God, I just want this so badly. I've worked so hard for this. Why am I still struggling? I've got breadcrumbs here with the Page of Pentacles. That Five of Pentacles feels a little dissolute, but that will change. Some sort of success is coming. And again, others of you are kind of just giving the cold shoulder to somebody that you feel a, a lot of attraction to, a lot of passion towards. Um, and it, again, it could be because there's another relationship, you know, kind of in the way of that connection. So you're just icing them out or they're icing you out. It's a strong connection. 
What's this two of cups in the past for Capricorn? Let's look at this. What's this relationship, this two of cups? Could be with a Leo, strength card, sign of Leo. But then again, having to tame yourself, that strength card is, oh, I got to hold back on something I really want to do, whether that's communication or ripping somebody's clothes off. Who knows? But the strength card is, listen, I got to just be resilient, patient, really hold back. I can't act upon what I, you know, what I really want to do because there's a relationship here. Now, there are, some of you are going to watch this and be like, what the hell are you talking about, mom? This isn't me. This could be somebody at work. If you are already in a relationship, this is somebody's energy that's coming through that they're like, they just want to jump on you but you, you're already with somebody or they know you're off limits or something like that. Somebody's got a crush. If this isn't your energy, somebody's crushing on you and this is how they feel about you. All right. Others of you, again, with work and money, it's going to come. It's going to happen. Um, again, after this completion, it's just a little bit slow to happen. So for those of you who are saving and you just feel like money's going out, it's not coming back to you or you can't you know, get to that goal, it will happen. It's just slow with that Knight of Pentacles in the outcome. But the sun is telling you there is change coming and happiness here. All right, y'all. In the extended reading, we'll take a look more at this outcome. I want to see, is, is this more love? Is it, you know, money? How, how does this play out in the extended reading? We'll post some specific love cards and oracle card as well. And uh, we'll dive into that outcome. And I will see you there. I would appreciate if you would like, share, and subscribe, please. That really does help the video to continue to grow. People ask me how they can support my channel, and that's really the best way. Um, you know, if you're watching the, the video and it hits home for you in some way, I would appreciate you guys liking the video. Other than that, I love you hard, Capricorn. Love me hard back, and we will speak soon. Take care.